Hey guys, happy afternoon. Happy Wednesday, it's the middle of the week. So first of all, if it's your first time hopping on, welcome. My name is Shakti, I'm a health and fitness coach and a metaphysician and I teach on both of those subject matters a lot. Um, and today is kind of gonna be the, a conversation about the two of them and how they actually relate. Um, so the title of this video is How My Business Has Actually Helped My Marriage. and at first, I was I was wanting to hop on today and share something that's going on, all these breakthroughs that I'm having left and right from my current fitness routine and my nutrition program and what I'm going through. And then I was just, I had just gotten back from running a ton of errands, like getting my passport ready to send out to renew because we're leaving in April to go to this trip to Mexico and do all this stuff. And so I was kind of a little bit frantic. So I, I came home, I sat down, I was eating and I was just casually scrolling through Facebook and a friend of mine is celebrating her 20th anniversary with her husband, which is amazing. And, you know, people were congratulating them on their page. And then someone asked, congratulations, you have any words of wisdom? And her response, I thought was like, so perfect. It was so succinct and so right on. Her response to that was, if you're both good people, stick to it through thick and thin. The end. <laughs> and when I read that, what it reminded me of was my business and any business. Because when you start a business, it's just like starting a relationship. It's the exact same sentiment. It's almost the analogy between the two is so comically identical. You know, you're super excited about your business and you're like super pumped, you have all these ideas, you're just excited for the possibilities, for what you see in the future of the business. And then you start working your business and you get into like the mundane day-to-day -day work of the business, which can be really unsexy. Just like living with another person. <laughs> Just like being with another person long term, as much as you love them, the day to day grind can get exhausting, especially when you have children and they're vying for your attention and you're both so exhausted every single day and it gets really tiring and there comes a point where there are going to be moments in the relationship where you're going to feel this distance and it's very much an ebb and flow, just like your business. There are going to be moments in your business when you're like, I'm sick of this. I don't want to do this again. I'm so tired. I need a vacation, you know, or you're going to be a little bit less in love with the, with the details of working your business. But both of those things also share in common that in order for you to have the kind of long-term success that is really powerful and moving and makes you feel really fulfilled and accomplished in a relationship or in a business. The only requirement is that you keep showing up. That is literally the only requirement. And that you have the understanding that there are gonna be seasons, just like there are seasons on the earth. There's a spring and then there's summer and there's fall and there's winter. And as the seasons show up, they then fold into the next one and the next one and each season has its beauty, it has its its presence, it has its its time in the sun, so to speak. And for you to say, well, I hate all the other seasons, I just want it to be summer all the time, you miss out on the experience of change and transition and the beauty of each of those seasons. And marriage is like that and your business is like that. Everything has seasons. And I think, especially in a younger generation, my husband called me, I do feel like in in the younger generation, like the millennials are sort of like taking back marriage. They're they're changing the, the, the definition of marriage and how they are in marriages. Sorry. But I, I do feel that um, in a lot of ways, marriages are ending a lot more quickly. And there's two reasons for that. One, I think women are waking up and becoming more empowered and not staying in abusive relationships long term, which was quite common. Um, long ago but I think the other half of it is that we are becoming impatient with the seasons we we get into a marriage a couple years in we're great and then something happens like having a kid or someone gets sick or something happens and we just get impatient we get impatient with um, that <sighs> impatient with the transition impatient with the season impatient with 
the lull, you know, we, it's like, we always want to be on an upper. We always want to be like super hyped about our partners or super hyped about our business or super pumped about, and we can't live there. It's unsustainable to be in that place of hype long-term. We have to recognize that everything is going to have, every mountain has its valley. And if you just want to be at the peak all the time, you miss everything that happens from the peak to the valley. There's a lot that happens there. And Truly, I have grown the most in my entire life during the valley points of my life. Peak experiences don't grow you. Peak experiences are celebratory in nature. What grows you is the valley. What grows you is the lull. What grows you are the moments in your business or your marriage where you're like, I'm dissatisfied, let me figure out why. That is what grows you as a person. When things are going great in your business and in your marriage, you're not growing. You're just enjoying and celebrating that, which is fine. But that's not the place you're going to be in all the time. It's unsustainable energetically. You're going to be naturally drawn to a time of growth because that is how we all are as human beings. That's how we operate. And that's how anything that has cycles operates. Business, relationships, nature, children, right? Everything, everything has cycles. Everything is revolves around a cycle of some sort. So in my own business, all the times where I've come to a point where I'm like, I'm tired of this, or I'm frustrated with this, or I'm, I'm over this. And then I just stay. I don't leave. I just stay and I figure it out and I get over it. And I'm like, Oh, that was, I'm so glad I stayed. I'm so glad I figured this out. The same thing happens in my marriage. It's the same thing, but it's so helpful to have a mirror that's not my marriage. Because I think if you don't have anything else in your life that's cyclical like that, that you can really kind of draw comparison to, when it's just happening in your marriage, it's it feels like this is the end. It feels very, um, something must be wrong because there's this lack of zest or this lack of interest or we're very quick to jump to the conclusion that something is wrong because it's, I think it's a lot easier to do that in a personal relationship than it is in like a business per se or nature <laughs> seasons of nature. Um, but because I have that and I can sort of see, okay, this is how my behavior is over here. And it's very similar to my behavior over here. It allows me to understand that the common denominator is me and cycles. <laughs> so it doesn't mean that I have to run from something. It means that I actually have to go deeper within myself and figure out, okay, what's going on that I'm experiencing this dissatisfaction and I, how can I grow from it? So if you're in a, in a period of your relationship, like my friend said and in her comment, um, if you're two good people, just stay together, <laughs> figure it out. Um, the qualifier being good people, if you're well matched, if you're good together, if you know that that's a good partner for you, then stay together and figure it out. And same thing with your business. If your business is a good match for you, if you feel like this is what you're really passionate about, if you feel like this is a core value to your soul, stick to it and figure it out. Figure out why you're unhappy. Figure out why it's not working. Figure out why you're at stuck or at a lull or why you're not succeeding the way you want to succeed. Find the glitch and then fix it. That's it. It's really that simple. But quitting never gets you anywhere. Quitting a marriage or quitting a, a business because you're frustrated is really, it's really frustrating. And it will be really frustrating when that cycle ends and you feel differently about it. And then you realize you've already made a decision that wasn't in alignment with you. And that's a really painful place to be. I've also been there. And the hindsight does not feel good. So Remember this, um, and if you do have a business and a marriage and you've also found that this does kind of compare, I'd love to hear your comments or your personal experiences with how it's been a teacher for you, because I know for me it's been a huge teacher, and um, it, it's allowed me the opportunity to realize the true value of the word commitment, and that as Tony Robbins said, you know, are you committed or are you interested? Um, goes for both business and marriage. You know, when you're interested, you do things when it feels good. And when you're committed, you do things because you're committed. <laughs> like, that's it. You create the feeling, you create the momentum, you generate the motivation to stay engaged and stay present. Um, and that's huge. That's huge for success on either front. 
So anyways, that's the message I wanted to share with you guys. Thanks so much for hopping on. Share any questions or comments you have about this below. I'd love to hear from you guys. As always, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Love you guys. Bye.